Welcome to Math with Mr. J. So here we are at the area mastery check where you are going to do four area problems on your own and check your work with mine to see if you have this down. Now if you're looking for a little more help or instruction, check out my instructional video that I dropped the link to down in the description and then come back to the mastery check. If you're ready to try these problems on your own, you should have something out to write with and write on. And when I say pause here in a second, you'll press pause, find the area for these four problems, press play when you're ready, and check your answers with mine to see how you do. So have something out to write with and write on, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. Let's go through these four problems to see how you did. So number one, let's start with our formula. Area equals length times width. Now let's plug in. I'm going to use eight for the length times three for the width. Now if you flip those, if you have three for the length and eight for the width, that's still fine. You'll get the same answer. So you're good if you flip those. And you should have gotten an area of 24 square meters. Number two, area equals length times width. Let's plug in length of 10 times a width of 12. And we have an area of 120 square inches. Number three, area equals length times width. Plug in length of six yards times a uh, width of 18 yards. And that gets us to an area of 72 square yards. Lastly, number four, a rectangular garage has a width of 25 feet and a length of 20 feet. What is the area of the garage? So formula area equals length times width. Plug in. We have a length of 20 feet times a width of 25 feet. And that gets us to an area of 500 square feet. So there you have it, the area mastery check. Hopefully you did well on those four area problems. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.